Hi there, this is Shmar Haddad here again. In uh, this video, I have to show you how you can configure the static uh, route and the static default route on the Cisco iOS router. So what is the static route? Where to, should we use it? And what is the function of the static route? That is something I'm going to explain to you sh shortly in, uh, in a moment. And then I'm going to show you a lab how you can configure the static route and the static default route. So let me show you what is the lab scenario and then we we'll start doing the lab. So this is my lab scenario. I do have router 1, router 2. They are connected to each other on fast Ethernet 0 over 0. I do not have any configuration there. So I need to put the IP address. And then I'm going to create also loopback interfaces, which is on the router 1, which is 1.1.1.1. And on router 2 is 2.2.2.2. Loopback interfaces is just to say that it is a network connected to router 1 and a network connected to router 2. Now, the idea, let's say that it is a network here. So let's imagine that there is a computer here and there is another network. So there is a computer also over here. So the idea here is that I want that this computer, which is on this network, to be able to reach to that computer and vice versa. So normally, once this computer sent to the router and say to the router, hey router, I want to reach to 2.2.2.0 network, then this router will open his routing table and he will check I know about this network, which is connected directly to my interface. I know about that network, which is connected directly to my interface, but I don't know anything about 2.2.2. So what this router would do, he would just drop the packet. So we need to make a route here on router 1 to tell him that if you want to go to 2.2.2, then send everything to your next hop, which is this interface. So then router 1 will say, okay, I know how to reach it. Then I will send it to this interface. Router 2, he will check, oh, this is going to 2.2. I know how to send it because it's directly connected to me. Then he will send it to this computer. Now, if this computer wants to answer back, then he will send it back to router 2 and say, hey, router 2, send this answer to 1.1. Then in this case, router 2 will open his routing table and he will say, oh, 1.1.1. I don't know anything about it. I know about this network because it's directly connected to me. I know about that network because it's directly connected to me, but I don't know anything about 1.1. So what uh, he would do, he would drop. So this guy over here, if he's trying to ping 2.2, for example, he will never get a ping reply. So then in this case, we have to also do a, uh, a route on router 2 to say that anything going to 1.1, then send it to your next hop. In this case, the next hop of router 2 is this interface. All right, so this is the idea of the uh, route. Now, how am I going to do it? I'm going to make uh, on router one, I'm going to make a uh, static route. Static route means I say to router one that if you want to go to 2.2.2.0 network, so to this network, send everything to this next hop. So I'm precising what is the network, 2.2.2. something. Now, the way back when router 2 want to do the route, I'm not going to say for router 2 to go to 1.1.1 network. I'm going to tell him to go to anywhere. And that's what is the default route. So default route means to go to anywhere, which 1.1.1 is also part of this anywhere. So to go to anywhere, send everything to your next hop, which is this interface on router 1. Now, where sh shall we normally see the default route? We see the default route if we have something like this. We have the internet and we have here a router and this router is connected to a LAN. Now, what we do on the router, we make a static route. We say to go to anywhere because the internet, yeah, there is an internet, there is Google server, there is Yahoo server, there is Facebook, there is YouTube. We cannot do for every uh, server, we do a static route. We just say to anywhere, right? So we do a default route. That's what we do it normally when we are connected to the internet. So we got the idea of this lab. Let's go now and start making it uh, on a, a uh, configuration to see how it's going to work. So we start with the first putting the IP addresses. I just put the, the picture here so you can see what I'm doing. So we go to the configure terminal. Let's make on the fast internet 0 over 0 an IP, which is 192.168.12.1. And then subnet mask. And no shutdown. So I just made the IP here. I'll create also the loopback interface, which is representing uh, like a, a network. And I will put an IP on it, uh, IP address, IP address 1.1.1.1, 255.255.255.255. So for the loopback, you can just make uh, uh, all 255. 
and there is no need to say no shutdown or loopback because the interface is always up. So we check now, show IP interface brief. Here we go, so we have the two IP addresses there. Let's do that on router 2, configure terminal, interface facet and at 0 over 0, IP address 192.168.12.2. We put the subnet mask, no shutdown, and we make also the loopback interface and we put the IP address 2.2.2.2.255.255.255.255. Now show IP interface brief. Here we go. So now router 2 should be able to ping router 1. Let's have a look. Indeed, he's able to ping router 1. But do you think that 2.2 .2 can ping 1.1? We said it's not possible. And if we want, we can just make it pink and then you make question mark here you can uh, use for example uh, then we say here pink to 1.1.1.1 and the pink i want it to come if we make here now the question mark i want it to come from the source 2.2.2.2 so i'm pinging from 2.2 to 1.1 you will see it's not able to reach it and there is a reason again is we say show ip route look the router 2 doesn't know anything about 1.1 he knows about this connected network, those two networks, but he doesn't know anything about the uh, 1.1. .1. Same over here, router 1, if we say show IP route, also, he doesn't know anything about 2.2. .2. He knows about this entry and this entry, and that's it. So now let's start working on router 1. So what I'm going to do, if we go back to uh, the picture, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to make a static route just a static route to say to go to 2.2 .2, i'm saying this to router 1 to go to 2.2 .2, send everything to your next hop and i'm going to make it static so i have to say to go to this network and also i'm going to after we finish that i'm going to make in this case a default route a default route from router 2 to say to go to anywhere send everything to your next hop and 1.1 .1 is part of this anywhere so we make from router 1 a static route from router 2, a default static route. Then we cover both uh, cases. So let's do that. We go to router 1, and we start. Configure terminal. And we say IP route. Now I'm creating the route. The destination prefix to where it's going to go to 2.2.2.0, which has the subnet match 255.255.255.0. So I'm not sure if we can say 2.2.2.2.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
If you like my way of teaching, please do not forget to uh, put a like on this video and subscribe and uh, click on the bell so you are notified whenever I have new videos on my YouTube channel, which I'm uploading them. So I hope that this lecture was informative for you and I will see you in some other videos.